Hey guys, Colgan here with another Orcs Must Die 2 Nightmare 5 Skull video guide. We're on Servant Entrance. Now uh, we do want to get over here to set up our kill box. Right over here. Now the reason I've gone with Swinging Maces of instead of the Haymaker, it's because the Haymaker will just, you know, throw the enemies, throw the Orcs around in every direction and you will end up getting a lot of orcs being tossed down here, very close to the rift. The swinging maces, they are much weaker in this game than they are in the first game, so they won't kill enemies outright, they'll kind of throw them back and forth. So you'll get some being tossed into the lava, some being tossed back over here to this side. And that's kind of the reason I didn't go with putting the swinging maces like this. It's because much like the haymaker they'll end up throwing a lot of orcs down here and you know you don't want that happening <laughs> get our arrow wall up and floor scorcher now we will be cutting it very very close on part time with this build again so Let's we do want to get down here and take care of wave Ending one up. very early you know take care of them very quickly as quickly as possible I just stunned that guy. Headshot him. Now you can also use this build for a high score again. Uh, it did get me a top 20 score on this map. So uh, it is very effective. So just take care of this frost ogre. Keep him stunned, headshot him. He should die pretty easily. Now we don't want to waste time, we need to get back Let's to the kill go. box straight away. I've actually brought the decoy on this map for a very good reason. It's because when you're up here, you know, a lot of orcs they will get through your kill box, so you kind of want to place the decoy right in your kill box here around the tar trap, so. When they all come up here, they'll start attacking your decoy and, you know, they'll get killed by your traps. So it does stop them from getting through the kill box. Don't know why I waited so long to use my lightning cloud there, but... No, just don't forget to use it and it does make them die much easier. So I'll show you where I did set up my original kill box on this level. It's actually, you know, not very smart, to say the least. <laughs> uh, I set up my original kill box all along here. You know, I filled this entire floor up with floor traps. I put arrow walls here and there. I put two haymakers there. You know, it was incredibly stupid. I don't know what made me decide to set up my kill box like that, but it was just so horribly ineffective. Everything was getting through, it was constantly getting overwhelmed. So I moved it back here and started using uh, haymakers, but you know, like I said, the haymakers were throwing everything back down here, so that was no good. So I ended up using swinging maces, but. I set the swinging maces up wrong the first time and, you know, it ended up again throwing the orcs down there, so... I set it up with swinging maces going in this direction instead and, you know, it's much more effective. We can get our decoy down and we want to put some archers here for now. We won't be keeping archers here. Because when I do have enough money, I'll be setting up this exact same kill box on that side. But, uh, that's just to make them all die quicker so you know we can get the five skulls faster but if you are doing this for a high score you can leave your kill box like here just here just the one kill box and spam your archers down there and you will get a very high score like i said it put me in the top 20 so uh, i will be putting another one there like i said just for making well, helping me get the five skulls faster. Because we will be cutting it very close on part time, as usual. 
Oh, we've got a skull there, I think, which is pretty nice. Yeah, the reason for the archer is down here. You know, it's kind of it's dangerous putting them up there because no grenadiers. They'll actually, when they're coming from this side, they won't run up. They'll just hide down there at the end and start throwing grenades off them. They'll kill all your archers. So it's pretty risky. But uh, I will actually put them up here, even though the Noel Grenadiers will cause me some trouble. But the only reason I'm going to be putting them up here is because of the second kill box, and you know you want the archers to be able to hit both kill boxes. With the Noel Grenadier, you know, just keep your eye out for him. If you do see a red dot on the map, just standing here and not moving, just jump down and stun him and take care of him very quickly. Another thing they will do is, you know, they'll stand back like that and just throw grenades off at your decoy. Another thing you do need to, you know, keep your eye out for is the swinging mace. When it knocks them into the lava, you know, sometimes they won't die. They'll kind of just stand there in the lava underground. And it actually happened to me one time as... I was there for about 30 seconds wondering like there was two red dots on the map and I was just sitting there for about 30 seconds wondering like where are they and then I looked into the lava and I saw an orc's head just popping out <laughs> you know he wasn't dead he was just standing there under the lava with his head sticking out so that is something you will need to keep an eye out for it doesn't happen often I mean it's only happened to me once so far so seems like it was just like a one-off bug that I encountered but just in case you know do keep your eye open for that and because that can really you know hurt your part time we'll be doing a lot more now to the kill boxes just need to get another decoy down I'm over there how can I be standing here I love that comment when he places down the decoy Especially the other one he makes about hello there, handsome. Get our Let's take a moment to reflect on my mistake. Scorchers down no, and he narrow wall here and one more there. Uh I will also be putting you know some arrow walls, I think four arrow walls in here and floor scorchers up like this. That'll help with extra combo points on you know, arcs and everything that they'll get knocked over oh, into the middle. Pretty straightforward build now. I mean, your traps will do the majority of the work from here on. Watch out, At the end of this wave, I will be selling the archers and putting them up there. But, uh, the reason... Like, it will get you a high score doing it this way, but the reason I only want to use one kill box when going for a high score is because the amount of coin you have left at the end of the level, you do actually get a bonus amount of points for that amount of coin. So if I ended the level, let's say, 2,000 coin, I'd get an extra 2,000 points added into my score. So, you know, this kill box, it setting up two of them it's very costly i mean that's three thousand just for the swinging mace 600 for the arrow wall you know well three thousand two hundred for the floor scorchers and then you've got what, you know it's a lot of money over there there's nearly going to be an extra 10k spent over there so that's potentially ten thousand points you're missing out on and that's just, you know, not good Sometimes at all. I feel bad for because those 10,000 points, you know, not really. that could put you 5, 10 places above, or, you know, could even put you 100 places higher, depending on your position on the leaderboards. Do we have one stuck in... No, it seems like it's a null grenadier, is it? Yeah, I think we encountered the bug again. I think so. Where is he? Huh. Yeah, I think we have encountered the bug. Huh. 
Where the hell was he? Let's roll. Yes, that's the second time now I've encountered that bug. And I did forget to sell those four archers because you know, I was kind of focused on what the hell was happening there. So kinda glad that did happen. So now you actually see the bug that I was describing. So you do need to keep your eye open for when they fall into the lava just in case. Because, you know, that really does hurt your power time. We do need to start getting our arrow walls and extra floor scorchers off. I think power time on this map is... I'm not sure, is it 13 minutes? 13 and a half? You know, so we don't really have that much time to kill off the last two waves so that's the reason for all the archers in the middle and getting our arrow walls and such up here Ooh, when it gets them up like this we're putting an extra one in now you can see the money does start rolling in a lot now so if you do only have the one kill box you know you could potentially end this map with about 30,000 coin so, you know, that's a lot of coin. That's a lot of points added into your final score. That was awesome. Got a 9x there. Still trying to get that 10x combo. The, the 9x is the highest I've only managed to get so far. And I probably could have got a 10x on the first ogre if I, you know, remembered to use my lightning cloud. But, unfortunately, I didn't use it for some reason. Get our two floor scorches down here. And I'll also be putting two there, just to help with getting the extra combos. Now on the last wave, it'll probably be smart, you know, if you're going for a high score, just to sell off a bunch of stuff, like your arrow walls here and the floor scorchers in here. Just for, you know, a high score, it's probably not going to add all that much. You're only going to get a handful of combos, so you know the extra few thousand points that you're going to get from not spending all that money will probably be worth more than the amount you're going to get from combos. Yeah, we got a null grenade here, you see. They'll just stand back there and try to grenade them, but you know. Thankfully the wall does seem Welcome to be to you know, too high so they don't actually seem to make it through properly. Like me now? Yeah we got None shall pass. two minutes to deal with the last wave. So I should get down a decoy well, on either there, side. Devil. And I did forget to sell them archers again. So I mean not going for a high score here so you know not too much trouble. Care that null grenade here, he's just really annoying. Do be careful here, I mean, you get three ogres on either side. Well, decoy did go down, so we need to get another one. I'll just leave this right here. Need that hell potion. Very risky to do that, but you know, I kind of wanted to get lightning down. Now, how many was that? Nah, who cares? You know, it does get a bit hectic now on the last wave, but you know, look at the amount of coin you do get out of this wave. So, if you only have the one kill box, you know, you can end it with <laughs> you know about 30,000 points. So, that's there's this five skull dance. So, five skull that with. No, pretty decent score. You can get a score, like I said, if you use only one kill box, you can get a score of about 450,000 using this method. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.